welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today I thought I would show you something which is uh, um, doing the rounds as it were at the moment. Um, it's stamping on mugs. Um, this is something that, that's not new at all, it's been going around for a long, long time, but seems to have a bit of a resurgence and there have been a lot of sort of queries and questions and things. So I thought I'd have a go myself and then come on to you and tell you the tips and ideas that I have learnt along the way and what worked for me. So this was my first, um, first try. Um, it is a, um, a cheap mug and that's what I'd suggest. The first thing you get is a cheap mug. Now, I got these from our local pound store. Um, they are quite thick and the glaze as well is fairly thick as well. You want something that is cheap um, purely because the glaze, when you put it in the oven... It will, um, it will melt easier and the image goes on easier rather than if you have a very thin bone china or something like that, it's more likely to crack. Now, I've got no experience with anything apart from these ones, so this is the only one I can tell you about. Now, you can see on this, um, I've done, let me see if I can bring it up a little bit for you. You can see I've done the image of the um, Born to Shine. Um, dancer and I've coloured her in in our blends so I've got her along here now you can see on this one right at the top I missed a little tiny bit um, if you have bends and curves on the mug it's more difficult to get the top um, and again on this one I just missed out the top of her arms and when I got round to stamping the sentiment it wasn't perfectly straight but as a whole, when I've shown this to people um, at work, because I took it into work, um, they were all really impressed. And as you can see, it's right, it's right inside. It's not going anywhere. So um, it is a very simple and easy thing to do. So I thought I would show you. Um, and what you need, as I say, is a, um, a cheap mug. Um, this mug, as I say, was from the, the pound store. First thing you need to do is to take off any labels and things that might be on it. There was a label on the bottom, there was a label on the side. And make sure that it is fairly clean. Um, you then need stays on. Um, stays on, very important. Um, it's solvent ink um, based. So you want something which is um, alcohol and solvent because that will um, help it when it goes into the oven. So... Um, we need that. You then need to choose whatever stamp set you want. To be quite honest, you can choose anything you want. So I thought I'd have a go at doing the um, the lovely birds on the free as a bird. So we need to put it onto a um, a fairly large block. And the reason behind that is that you are going to roll the image through so let's sort of take it where we want it it's going to roll across this way and come right the way through so i'm going to do it but i have the mug holding this way so i'm going to do it this way and i want to take it from this piece sort of here and roll it okay so we then need to use and some stays on cleaner um stays on is something that once it's on your stamps um it doesn't like coming off, so you need um, a special cleaner for it. You can't sort of use water. So we're going to ink up the image really well. Now, stays on, you really need to work. It's a um, fabric um, pad, so you really need to work it well into the image. And... Um, I'm going to do it on both bits to make sure that I've got as much as I can. Okay. And then we are going to take the mug and position it on the side that we want it on. So I'm going to take it as near as I can up on here. And then you need to just press it and roll it. 
So you can do it quite um, gent, um, you know, quite slowly. You don't need to do it quickly because you want it to go across as much as you can. So let's have a look and see how that's come out. Oh, it's come out fine on this top bit, but not so good on the bottom. Okay, so if it hasn't come out very well, easy way of getting rid of it is to use your stays on cleaner and to literally just go over it again. It's quite good that, as I say, this one hasn't come out very well because what I want to do is to show you that you can do it a few times. Um, okay, then we need a piece of kitchen roll. Bear with me two seconds while I just grab some clean kitchen roll. Okay, so I've got some clean kitchen roll. Excuse me for rushing off in the middle of this. Okay, and you can see you can quite easily clean it off. So you can do it a few times. Um, my stays on is getting a little old um, so I do need to probably get a new one but let's have another go so we need to really ink this up well so it's quite a warm day as well so I think that probably makes a bit of a difference so let's just ink this up well Okay, and then we'll do it again. So taking it where we want on the side on here, line it up and I'm actually going to stand up for this because I want to press it down as well as I can. So I'm really pressing hard and going pretty slowly round on here. should be better let's hope yes now you can see you've got a beautiful clear image across there so um you do need to straight away use your stays on cleaner and clean that stamp off because then you won't have any of those nasty marks on there and as i say it's very sort of simple and straightforward to do um but if you don't do it straight away and it dries on, it's um, it's quite difficult to get off. So, as I say, just um, give it a good old clean through. And as I say, I can do it a bit more afterwards. But as I say, it's really important to clean that stamp off straight away. Because as I say, otherwise it does tend to stay on for a long time okay so we now have this lovely image on here now you can wait um, for it to dry in I'm obviously not going to do that because we want to try and do it quite quickly so it's then a matter of using your blends so I think for these little birds I love the uh, um, the blue in the birds so I'm actually going to do it in Let's do it in balmy blue. Now I'm putting this upwards while I take it off because you want it to be um, you want to be slightly cautious. Now, if you go onto the actual lines of the stays on, it will. Now that's going to be too pale. I can see it's coming out, but it's very pale because obviously it is a. Um, let's try the darker. Because it is a, um, you're having to colour over the top of the um, the china itself. If you, um, that's a bit better. So if you colour it in and you don't go, I'm having to do this while I'm sort of talking, you don't go up to the edges. You won't get any smudges on there so I'm just going to very quickly just sort of colour in where the bird is. A 
and as I say you do need to sort of concentrate a bit but if you make sure and I'm resting my hand on the side um, so I don't sort of smudge it in and so as I say then all you do is to colour it in and you can see you can build it up as you go um, so sometimes it'll take you know a couple of a couple of goes on it to actually get what you want but you see I'm not going anywhere near the actual black line so um, that's just sort of on one bit let me show you on one of the leaves I'm going to use the dark granny apple green um, it's quite a good idea to use the bullet point as well because then you can get into the tiny little pieces so for example on this leaf I would literally do my dotting so you can see if you just dot and I'm having to not talk to you while I'm doing it because I don't want it to go in to any areas and talking and trying to do that but if you just sort of dot it so you can see that's quite a quite a small area but you can do it into those tiny areas and then um, obviously on the branch part I would use um, in fact I'm probably going to use the dark um, in fact this is the bronze which is quite a dark colour so I'm just going to do this in on the um, on the branch bit here so you can see and again um, you know dot it up and down or just do it sort of very gently and just build it up so it'll take a little time to colour it but you can see how it does you can colour it in onto the um, the image and again because I'm not rubbing it across where the stays on is it's not going anywhere so as I say I'm literally just dotting it and building it up um, so spend some time in colouring it in use whatever image you want it really doesn't matter as long as you put it in on the stays on so let me just sort of bring that up a bit you can see where I've started to do the colouring on there you've got some blue on the birds you've got some green on there um, and then what you need to do is you need to put it into let's get this one on here because you need to leave it to dry for um, well I left it for this one I left it for about half an hour um, because I didn't have a lot of patience and um, I've I've heard that you should leave it for quite a long time but half an hour was fine for me then what I did was I put it in the oven um, on a baking tray and put it in the oven so that the oven was cold then I turned the oven on now my oven goes up to about 350 degrees it's an electric oven and it's UK but you want it in a very hot oven so the tip is put it in the oven on your baking tray when the oven is cold turn the oven on um, to very hot so as I say it was 350 as far as my oven would go leave it in there for 30 minutes so once the oven has got to temperature and um, for me it takes about I don't know five ten minutes for my oven to get to temperature once it's got to temperature then um, leave it in for 30 minutes turn the oven off and then don't take it out until the oven has cooled so for me that was another um, half an hour 40 minutes um, I took it out when it was still warm um, but I didn't take it out when it was hot and you can see it is it's gone right the way through I was incredibly impressed with this and I thought what a great idea so um, easy way of stamping on your mugs using um, stays on and our stamping blends and you can do whatever stamp set you want you can do it as intricate as you want as you can see you know this is quite an intricate little uh, um, image and even on her uh, bring it up so you can see it closer even on her face you've got all of the detail on there and I've even done the pink um, 
on her arms as well so it's a great fun way to to um to you know make some projects make some ideas for birthdays christmases you know fill them with sweets and stuff like that um for easter do them christmas ones all sorts of ideas but our stamping blends work absolutely perfectly with this and um just remember to use stays on ink so thank you so much for watching me and do look forward to seeing you again bye bye <laughs>